In today's video specifically, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can find some really great winning products right now using just this one product research tool. Okay, so right here we have the website Miner, right? Miner is a really useful website which I use for product research. Now this is not a sponsored video, but I do have an affiliate code for Miner. I recommend you to click the link in the description of my video down below. Click that, that will allow you to sign up for Miner. It will in turn help me out with the channel and it will also help you out too by giving you offers which you don't usually get if you just sign up generally without a link. So it's mutually beneficial, right? You'll basically have quite a few different tools at your disposal, right? So on the left hand side, we have dashboard. So this is the main interface of Miner. On Miner, they show you the top 10 winning products of the day and they do this through a series of different platforms. Obviously, you can scroll across from the first product straight down to the 10th product. And there's some interesting products here, but you'll notice that when I do these so-called top five winning products of the month videos, they're usually based on different platforms. So I'll say to you guys, this is probably best for you to market on Facebook. And I'm using these tools, mainly Miner, to find these ads. And I usually analyze them based off their platforms. You can look at Facebook ads and TikTok ads and also Pinterest ads, which they have too. So they have three different social media platforms that you can look at the scraped ads of. So they have ads of certain products. So the way that you're actually researching these potential winning products is you're watching the ads that the creators or companies have originally made to see if you can remake something similar. And it shows you the engagement, so it'll show you the saves on Pinterest and the pins. For TikTok, what might make more sense to you is obviously the plays, which is how many times people have watched it, the likes, and also the shares. So it's interesting to see how viral a certain piece of content is. So for example, we can see this is a makeup product just off the thumbnail, so you know it's going to be potentially a winner. And we can just click on this for an example, and it'll open the ad, right? So it'll show you the hashtags they've used, which might be useful. You might want to reuse them. It'll show you the actual website that it's advertising for, the language, the amount of shares, comments, and the activity of the account. So what we could do is we could highlight this and press copy, and then I could open this in a new tab, and it will take me to their website. So this is actually the website of their product, but I haven't even shown you the ad yet. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of an inside scoop. This is their ad, right? So it's basically like one of those fancy nail kits for girls. I don't know if this is some kind of gel nails kit or some special color nails, but these always seem to do well in the whole cosmetics and beauty space. And this is basically giving you an ad. So these are like shiny acrylic nails. And a lot of girls are going to probably think that's cool, right? These kind of products always seem to do well, especially on TikTok, which is what we're looking at. So we can see all the copy for the ad. Now for TikTok, ad copy is not usually going to be actual ad copy. It's just a series of hashtags and maybe a hook if they decide to even include that. So the ad copy on the TikTok section, there's not really going to be much there. But it's just the fact that we can then go and have a look at their store page because it's actually linked. So we can see this is the product we're looking at. They have 28 reviews already. So they probably made some sales. And then whether they've obviously imported the reviews or not, that's up in the air, but likely they have because they're dropshipping. And you can see the design of the website. Okay. So this is likely a successful store. This is very similar style to my main store that I'm running, but it's a slightly different color scheme, but this is marketed at women. So we can use this to see how they're marketing their website, how they're marketing their products via the website. What are similar products of the same niche or trend that they're trying to sell alongside it? Are they doing a cross sell or upsell and trying to sell more products that the users may want to buy at the same time? So you obviously increase the average order value. There's a lot of kind of valuable pointers we can have a look at just from taking a look at the website and researching. Okay. We can go on the product page here and it'll take us to the product page. So we have some high quality screenshots. These are basically screenshots of the products. We also have gifts. I don't know what I think about this product page. It's not bad at all, but it's also not amazing in my opinion, but it definitely is good enough to sell. It shows how many are sold in the last few hours. That's quite good for trust. I'm not sure if you can even fake that. So that's actually pretty good. I personally don't use that. They have a size guide. They also have like a buy one, get one free order or like get a certain percentage off if you order more than one unit. This can also increase your conversion rate if you do it right. And it will show you how many customers are currently looking at it as well. So if this is a true figure, then it shows a lot of people looking at it. They jump from 10 to 59. So I'm not sure how legit that is, but the website has a pretty good trust factor. It doesn't have too much of a description. I would have liked to see better product copy and an explanation of the product, but maybe the product is so powerful and the video is so good that it just sells itself. They also have some photo reviews here too, which are probably imported, which also adds to the trust factor of the website. So you can have a look at their website when you're starting to sell the product that you found, or maybe you're trying to sell in the same kind of niche. You can just get an idea of what your competitors are actually trying to do. And this is exactly how I personally use mine as a platform rather than just for the product research alone, right? Because there's so much more power to it. Then the rest, you can see obviously the stats, so the likes, comments, plays, downloads, and shares. You can also have a look at the engagement over a series of time, over the course of time. So we can have a look at per day, how many plays, shares, forwards, downloads, comments, likes, etc. All the social media engagement metrics, how it performed each day. So you can see this goes from zero, basically from zero to 100, guys. That's that's paid ads for you, right? So we have the countries where it's marketed to. This is marketed to strictly just the USA, which I'd recommend, especially if you live in the UK. We have the runway of the ad when it was first seen and last seen. And you can also see the landing page of the ad too. So I can click on this and it'll take me to the actual product. So the landing here is the product page. So if we click on the TikTok ad, it would direct us to their product page, which is good because if you direct to the home page, you won't make any sales. And also if I click the top link, which is the landing TikTok, it actually takes me to their original account. So they're using this Nail Art Girl US account. This is their account. So they're probably also doing TikTok organic on here, guys. So they might have ads, but they're also doing TikTok organic. And some of them have like 450K views, which is pretty crazy. Some viral content here. So you can also model this as well. So take that into consideration when you do your product research. Because usually, especially on Miner, you can have a look at the TikTok and the backlinks to have a look at the social media too. So it's pretty crazy. You can also click on ads from the same shop. What this will do is it'll come up with potentially other ads. But currently, I guess they're just running this product ads. You can see the shop analysis. So this takes 
to screenshot the web store and it pulls some stats. So we can have a look at how many ads they're running, what platforms they're actually reaching out to, and we can have a look at ads on different platforms they're running, as well as influencer placements. We can also have a look at similar shops. So we do this just to find people in a very similar niche. It's obviously model off those as well as this website as well. So there's so much potential here, guys. We can also click on see products, but that will just take us directly to the product page. We can see ads, that will take us directly to the TikTok ads that we went on before, which were those two landing pages down here. And we can also add it to a list. So let's say you want to create your own winning product list to have a look back at later. You can press add to a list and then just create a new list. So I could type in like winning products and then the name of the month, which is February, but I've already made one for my video. So I could just create a list. That's how you add products to a list. This is great for influencers like me who want to make a video sharing some really powerful product picks for you guys. And that's how I do it for those monthly videos, right? But you could just use mine for your personal research and add a whole list of products to then come back to later to continue your product research in. So some really cool resources here. So that's basically the product page. Then obviously for the full potential of minor, there's a few steps you can do challenges. If you want to verify your email, you can create a list, which I showed you just now how to do that. And you can store ads in that list to store the so-called jewels, so cool things you find for later. You can also download the Chrome extension. I recommend doing that because it expands the feature set of the website. And you can also invite friends, which gives you free credits. And also if you're in the affiliate program like me, then you can do that also too. So that's why you using my link will benefit me. But when you sign with my link, you will also get perks as well. So don't forget that guys, don't just go to the website without using my link because you'll get less just for signing up, right? So you can invite your friends. There's also personalized lists. So when I was first invited to Minor and had an account, I had some lists already on my account, like winning products in November, which were already there for me. So I can have a look at this winning products in November and I have loads of winning products already on here. You may have different lists based on when you actually signed up using my link, but for an example here, this is interesting. This product here, the world's best sleep mask, is definitely something you might want to consider looking into because if you know the YouTuber Jordan Welsh, who is one of the very few legit dropshipping YouTubers who can definitely back his numbers, he sold a business called the Sleep Band, right? And I think he made like nearly $2 million in sales or pretty close to it while he was running the store over the lifetime of a few years. And this is basically very similar to this product here. So with a bit of marketing and studying of his original brand, you could probably sell something and create a brand very similar to his with this particular product, right? So it's very important to have a look at these product lists, which do actually have power to them. And for further product lists, you just click on discover our free list of winning products here. And Miner basically have free winning product lists, which they actually create for you every single month. So I personally create my own product lists for these videos because I don't want my winning products to be exactly the same as some other dropshipping YouTuber because there's no value in watching the same content, right? I want everything on this channel to be completely unique, which is why I actually do the research for you in those videos. But let's say you're lazy and you didn't want to do what I'm doing, or you don't want to use my list of products. You want to see what Miner has in store. We could click on see the list here for their list of February products, and it'll show all the products they picked for February. Okay, so they've already gone and picked some of them out for you. And remember, you want to filter by Facebook, TikTok, or Pinterest, depending on what platform you're actually selling on, because some might not work on certain platforms. Some Facebook ads probably won't convert well on TikTok, okay? Platforms work different. They have different target audiences and demographics. Do take that into consideration when marketing. They also have some pretty cool products for each different month of the year. You can go back to their old ones. So let's say I wanted to go back to January. That might have products for Valentine's Day for February. So I can have a look at what they picked last year. And you can just scroll down and have a look at these product lists. Also, as well as doing that from the dashboard, there's actually just straight up categories for each section. So Facebook ads here. I can type in Facebook ads. Yeah, again, I could just type in sleep and I can filter anything based off that search term. So this is some kind of weight loss while you sleep, some kind of supplements. You can basically filter by a keyword to find things in that niche, okay? Obviously, the more broader you type something in, like if I just type in beauty, it's just gonna come up with a whole bell load of stuff because it's not specific. It's even coming up with supplements, right? So you need to try and target specific keywords. But you can go into different modes, search text on page names or domains and search by keywords. You can also change the dates, the countries of the stores, the languages and the platform. Do you want to search for Shopify stores? Which we want to because we're Shopify dropshippers. But you can also search for things like WooCommerce, which is WordPress, which people can sell through too. Pretty cool filters. Also, you want to click on Quick Theory. If you're an e-com business who wants to scale away from the dropshipping method, you might want to just use the e-commerce tab. But as most people on this channel who are just starting out or staying in the dropshipping lane, clicking on dropshipping will filter the stores with ads for products that are strictly dropshipped. Okay, so this is what you're going to want to click as the filter so you can have a look at all of these videos. And just like before, we can go through and see some really cool products. Some of them are generic, like these wireless earbuds. They have a cool LCD display, but they're not really that unique. I guess the ergonomic shape is kind of cool, but it's also kind of lame. So you do have to take things with a pinch of salt. All these things for cars are actually quite good for Facebook. Selling things for cars, like in my last winning products video, I showed you like some door protector. A lot of men actually have a lot of pride in the cars, right? So these products are very good for, to sell for the male niche. It's kind of like when you sell a female a pet product, okay? Because they're passionate about the pet. Men are passionate about the cars, but men are obviously more practical thinking rather than emotional. So you're not going to get as easy sales as when, when you sell to women, but it's still kind of a similar comparison, right? Then we have Pinterest ads, which is kind of a different lane to what I'm used to. I've never tried Pinterest ads before, but I heard it actually does have potential. Although 
know if we compare like the pins and saves, the numbers just aren't matching up, right? Because it's obviously not going to hit hard as TikTok. TikTok is probably what you guys are going to want to search for. TikTok is what I teach because I don't personally use Facebook ads. So I don't feel like I can teach you the best way to use Facebook ads yet until I start using that for my own business. In my free course on YouTube, which you can click down below, and also the written course, which has like an extra set of written sections that goes into depth and explains the videos and written text, if you want to check that out too. Basically, I teach you in my marketing method how to strictly use TikTok to actually market your products and get profit. So I know the TikTok game, which is why I recommend you guys to use it. Obviously, if you've got a different channel, you can learn more about Facebook. And I'll probably make a Facebook ads video at some point when I personally use it myself, okay? Because I want to teach what I know. I don't want to teach just something which I copy and paste online because then I can't teach it properly, right? So then we can also go to shops. Shops is really going to interest you guys, okay? So shops, we're basically searching for stores. So another thing to refer to why I said in my free video course on YouTube, I told you guys to go on Google and type in just some kind of search term, like, I don't know, beauty, and then plus myshopify.com. And basically, let's say I right click this and actually search this on Google. What this will do is you'll have your search term, like beauty. So I could type in a product. So I could type in like sleep band because we've used that in this video already. I could use sleep band and then the plus myshopify.com is how you filter only Shopify stores, which mostly works, right? It comes up with Reddit and podcasts and stuff as well. But if you do it right, it comes up with mainly dropshipping stores. And that's how we can actually filter and find competition. There's a better way to do it. I've covered it in the free video course on YouTube, but that's like the lowdown of how you do it manually. Well, on Minear, on Miner, basically we can just search key phrases in the text search. We can search text in titles or descriptions of a site or just a general text search. So I can just type in sleep band over here and it'll come up with websites like sleep band 2.0. People obviously try to profit off Jordan Welsh's business to see if they can obviously pretend they're the 2.0, right? And the sleep BZ or sleep BZ, like sleep easy. I believe that is actually the new brand. After he sold his brand, I think that's actually like the new brand that's changed the name. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is actually his brand. But there's a few websites which have different URLs, which are kind of the same. So I'm not sure which one's legit. So you would use this. You can go through, you can select Shopify only. Category, you can niche down for your category what you're specifically searching for. Which sources are these coming from? Which country is the top country? What Alexa rank do they have? So Alexa is like a website ranker. You can go on like Alexa.com. It's like a website ranking system. You can also search and filter by dropshipping like before. And there's a whole lot of things we can do, okay? Let's say I search something I want to go on this waterproof jewelry. I click on it and then this analyzes the website which you actually search for. And it has the same interface which I showed you before. So from here, mine lets you not only research products like I showed you, but research websites. So you can see information about their shop. This mummy tummy website isn't actually running any ads right now. So it's a stagnant website. But if it was, we'd see all their marketing campaigns. We can also use this to see their Shopify theme. So if I want to like hijack the theme and reuse it, but like redesign it my own way, I have their theme here. I also have their Shopify app. So if I like how this website looks, I'm just going to click it just so we actually see if it's good. This website looks looks decent, okay? It's not the best website, but I personally think it looks really nice, okay? It's kind of cluttered with loads of images, which is similar. I think this is kind of cluttery, but the design of the website, I personally really like, okay? So if I want to copy this, I can see they're using Clavio, which I recommend. They have a quick announcement bar, which is like a strip at the top to give people like discounts and stuff. They have an Insta feed for a clean looking Instagram feed on the store. So I know what they're running in terms of their theme and their app, so I can remodel the website for it easier. We can also click on similar shops to see competitors. So I've kind of showed you that, but that's how to do it when you actually search through the shop search system. Next up is influencer marketing, right? The reason we're using this on Miner is to discover all placements made by influencers. So this is interesting. We can filter by dropshipping again, categories, followers. Do we want to only come up with people who are 1 million plus? And we want to look on Instagram. I just skip Snapchat. I don't really think it's that great to use influencers on Snapchat. I don't use influencer marketing. I've given you my method on how to do it and how to do outreach and how to get influencers. I personally don't leverage it, but we can use this to have a look at influencers pages, okay? And we have a look at their integrations. This influencer, I'm just going to randomly pick them. I don't know them. I'm not singling them out, but this is just an example. Let's click this, okay? So this is a company called basically this. I don't know what it means, so I'm not going to say it. This company. So we can analyze their website from here. We can see this influencer did a placement for them on this date. And you can see this is the influencer's placement, right? And it shows that they've talked about this brand on the story. They've given like a coupon code and they've showed that you can go to their website to actually buy stuff. So you can kind of see just by watching these Instagram stories, how people do influencer marketing and then how you can work with those influencers and tell them to replicate and do a similar thing, right? So this is just basically for your brand to learn how to interact with creators by looking at already pre-existing influencers placements that they've made for dropshipping stores. So this is a really nice thing to look at. You can also click on brands. So on this page, you're basically using this to find out which brands are hot in influencer marketing. So which brands are doing a lot of work with different influencers. Obviously, Telegram is huge. They have a lot of placements, but that's like a big brand. That's not really e-commerce. But yeah, it just shows general brands like Eventbrite, Patreon.com, general big businesses. These aren't dropshipping businesses. These are just general brands. But it's an interesting tool. We can also go down to influencers. So this is basically all influencers across different markets. So we would use this catalog. If, if I personally wanted to find influencers to work with, I would use this catalog. And the reason why it's so great is because I could say, okay, I want to find an influencer who's from a specific country. Let's just say United Kingdom, right? I'm originally from the UK. So I want to find a UK influencer. I want him or her to have 100,000 or more followers. And I want them to be in the beauty niche, okay? Or beauty category, because I'm selling a beauty product, let's just say. And I want the language to speak English, because I want, obviously, me to understand them and them understand me. And the gender, probably female if it's for beauty, but I guess if you have a brand which is appealing to the other gender, then that's what you'd select.
select, right? Audience age, usually 18 plus. Let's just say 18 to 24 is best because they have money. And gender, obviously. Female, because the influencer has to embody the brand. If we're selling products to women, we want the influencer to be a woman because otherwise the social proof just isn't there. Okay, if we have a man advertising a woman's product, he might be able to drive traffic depending on who he is and who his following is, but it's best this way, right? We're wanting to match the brand identity. So then I have lots of influencers who have more than 100k followers. I can just click on a random influencer. I have no clue who this is. And it shows their placement, so what they've done for brands in the past, so I can see their track record and history. Have they had a good brand partnership? Are they delivering what brands like me want? Are they delivering things on time? And are they delivering quality? So I can have a look at the placements and click on skinned on me. She's done some kind of like cool story where she's like promoting this brand. I can have a look at the stats. Engagement rate 3.6%. I can have a look at ads from the same store that have worked with her. There's so many things we can do. These are obviously all of her integrations and product placements, which she's obviously got quite a lot, especially for 100k. So it's pretty impressive. I can have a look at the activity on her account. How many placements has she made? How frequent are they? You can see she's getting quite a lot of work. Literally at least once a month, she's getting one integration. I'm not sure how much they pay. I can have a look at the shops advertised so I can see which brands that she works with, if they're in line with my brand's identity, if they're similar, if I like these brands and they're not scammy, then we can consider working with them. We can see the followers, the engagement rate, the page, the retention, the average placement in the last 30 days and every single day, the percentage of active followers, which is an important metric, okay? The reason why mine is good for influencer marketing is because I said in my me method, in my free course, plug in again, you can watch it free, click below, it's just a YouTube video. I said that you want to be careful of fake followers and fake engagement, which is kind of hard to source, okay? But with mine, you can see active followers, okay? These are followers that are not being suspected of being fake accounts or they have at least been active sometime in the last two months. Very important. This is really good. This makes this tool just useful in general if you can use it for influence marketing. So she has 70% active fans. That's a very nice number. Average likes 5k, average comments 25. You can see the gender is primarily female, 75%. Exactly what we want for that brand I mentioned. Mainly the UK and mainly this demographic, which I selected as well for age. And the audience growth has been kind of consistent over time. And it's kind of like, I wouldn't say flat line, it's just been consistent, right? And the main category is beauty. So this is perfect. So then you would work with this influencer. If you would want to work with them, you click on see influencer. It take you to their Instagram page. You would then message them. A random influencer, I'm not going to message them because I don't know them. But you send them a message. If you watch my free video course, I show you a message template you can use. Otherwise, I just recommend generating one with ChatGPT or AI that sounds good. Plug a bit of information in and get them to work with you, right? So that's how you can use my for influencer marketing. And it's actually quite powerful for that purpose. Then we go down to lists once again. This is also another way to access your list, which they create for you, which I showed you how to do in a different way earlier. The reason I'm showing you this is they also have monthly premium lists. The top 100 products to sell on Facebook. This is particularly a really nice list. It shows you their 100 picks. And there's some cool ones like this viral toys, there's baby feeding bottles. I think I actually recommended this in one of my winning product lists. I must have already seen this. But there's some pretty cool products from different categories, niches, and trends. So it's really cool. And using the fundamentals I taught you on how to use this tool, you can analyze them all, have a look at the websites, get inspiration and ideas, and emulate them. This is a really powerful tool. If you want to use it, yeah, again, the link to sign up will be in the link in the description down below. And I'll see you soon.